Right, just spoke to a nice lady out with her dog and uh, Will's neck's up there but she told me about the horses that are lying down, about 20 of them in the heather and she said it looks quite nice with all the mist you can see all the mist they never talked about the mist on the weather forecast this morning either uh, but you've got to expect it up here and she said follow the track you'll see the horses I wonder if she was a nurse. She looked like a nurse. Short hair. Look at those pressure up at stone now. girl over there because these people send you off on wild goose chasers you know I don't want to miss Will's neck that's not the plan I'm supposed to be seeing some horses in a minute I'm just going to turn off for a minute. There's a girl there. She's been not far behind me, really, on all of the walk. She's just heading towards the trick point now. I'm quite disappointed in the weather. I really, really am. But before I went to bed last night, I watched the weather map on the telly. And uh, it looked all cloud. It looked all cloud to me. I can see horses now. They're not lying down though. There's lots of them. Where's that girl gone? They're ahead of me. They must have just got up. Right, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is just zoom in again so you can see there is a big group of horses. It doesn't matter if they're lying down or not. Right, just take a picture before they all disappear. Right, there's the trick point. That's Will's neck. And there's Will's neck, this hill. I did see all the ponies in the end. Is that one lying down? Let me just have a zoom in a minute. Is that one lying down? Yeah, that does look like a pony lying down, doesn't it? dead. Yeah, I can see, I can see a horse lying down. I don't know if it's alive or not. I don't think it's going to clear all day. Win some, lose some, but 
The horse I seen lying down is actually alive. He's, he's sat up now. I thought he was dead for a minute. <laughs> I took a couple of pictures of it. I didn't get it on video. <sighs> yeah, I just have to take my time. So I'll be back. I'll be back at the bus stop by one o'clock. Otherwise, <sighs> hmm. so anyway, that's uh, Will's neck. We're now heading for Triscombe Stone and then we'll be walking right the way through that wood but I've been all over those fields as well in the past I've been all over those fields big battles took place back in the Anglo-Saxon times apparently big battles happened down there I don't know if they were the Vi with the Vikings but this is all this is known as a battle route along here it's just a shame it's turned out like this, folks. Um, but of course, the thing is, it wasn't all about taking photographs, really. It was for me just to be out here. And it's not cold, really. I've put my, I've put my windshield on, um, but it's not really cold. And uh, I've just put it on just to make sure I don't get cold, to be quite honest. And now I'm going down that track there. <sighs> I used to know everything about all the features, you know, like what is the Triscombe Stone? I mean, I, I used to know all that as well. And uh, all I know is that, uh, is it Triscombe? What's the next one up? Crocombe. Yeah, Crocombe. My sister's That's June. where that her ashes. But right, over and out, folks. This is a lovely walk. Scenes of big battles here. There's a Triscombe wood going up there leading to Crocombe. There's a quarry somewhere further along. I can't remember if it's here or the next one over. It just shows you it's a few years back since I've been here. And uh, it's a misty day. The photos are not going to be very interesting, I'm afraid, at all. And I feared that. And when it's four o'clock, the sun's going to come out, apparently. Over and out.